Hi everyone, this is Kevin Gore, Team Diamondize and Palmetto Dad on Bodyspace.com. Uh, today I'm going to have my body fat measured using the Bod Pod. Uh, many of you have heard of the immersion technique where you displace water. With a Bod Pod, you actually displace air. It gives you a very accurate calculation for how much muscle you have, how much bone, how much fat, and it's probably one of the best and uh, less expensive than the immersion one. I'll also compare that later on to calipers and also to an impedance reading, and you can see how they compare it to the Bod Pod. Thank you very much. All right, here I am getting ready to uh, have my body fat and my body composition tested. Uh, you wear as little as possible. I'm wearing some spandex shorts, and I also have a uh, cap on to cover up my hair. Again, you're trying to displace the total amount of air in here with just your body, not your fluffy parts like hair. So that's why I'm wearing the cap. I'll see you soon. Okay, these are the results of my Bod Pod measurement. It's the uh, Bod Pod composition tracking system, and as you can see. My composition result shows me at 11.4% body fat. Uh, that means that my fat mass is about 23.5 pounds and my fat free mass is about 183.5. Alright, so now I'm going to take my body fat using a Tanita body composition monitor. This is at my local gym. Uh, basically it measures the impedance of your body, goes through an electrical resistance and gives you a calculation for what your body fat is. We'll compare this to the Bod Pod that I did last night and see how the numbers look. All right. To set this for an athletic male body type, age 47 years old, and my height is 5 feet 11. It goes through a calibration and tells it it's ready to step on. And right now it's calculating the uh, body fat percentage. It says 13.1 percent, it gives you a printout. And that compares to the 11.4 last night with the body pod. So it's about 1.5 to 2% off. Not bad. And right now I'm just concerned with tracking this from week to week. Thank you. These are the printed results from the Tanita Body Composition Analyzer. And again, if you look real closely, you can see that my fat shown by the Tanita was 13.1%. And that's compared to 11.4% with the body pod. All right, so I've done the Bod Pod, which was the air displacement. I've done the Tanita Scale, which was the impedance reading, and I'm going to do a caliper reading. So this is the Fat Track 2. It takes three measurements. It takes upper, a midsection, and then lower. I already have it set for my height. Um, so the first thing I'll do is take my upper reading, and basically you take it right around your chest, and you just squeeze until you hear the beep. This tells me I'm... 10% around my chest. Go to the midsection. Do the same thing. Tells me I'm 14% at my midsection. Go to the next one, which is on your leg, and just take it at the, the crease where your muscle is. This, well, this shows me I'm 2% on my leg. And you average it out, and it shows 9.6. So that's about 2% off from where the bod pod was, which again we know is the most accurate one. Uh, what I recommend with the calipers is do three or four different uh, sets of readings and find out what your average is because there is quite a bit of human error involved. So that's it, the three different options that I use for determining my body fat level as I'm getting ready for a contest. Thanks, hope you all have a good day, and remember, your ambition, our nutrition.